is it about Lancaster City? Eh? Just Groundhog Day again, uh, late late winner. Yeah, um, I think if I can remember back to the occasion when they beat us at Gig Lane, they, they probably deserved it more than they did today, to be fair. You know, great credit to them. They, they, they put a real shift in, but I think they've had one shot in 90 minutes. Um, and especially second half, I don't think they, they, the lads deserved that, to be fair. Um, I thought the first half we were uh, poor. It is is the description we, for whatever reason, we've just been going over it and over it in there and asking the players for their their feedback on on the reasons behind it. But in the first half we were nowhere near um, playing too many safe balls. Nobody looking to dissect and 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 start to really hurt them. And then, you know it took me um, it took the change. In, in the second half to, to inject something, you know, with Mike Norton and, and Matty Walwyn and Jerome Wright right later on to, um, to really cause them problems. And on another day, um, we win that comfortably because, I mean, we've hit the post, all the keepers, he's, he's pulled off absolute, three absolutely fantastic saves, you know, credit to him for that. Um, and I suppose that's the magic of the cup. You know, we've been on the, the other end of it, um, you know, when, when we play Brighton, down in Brighton, I remember thinking it should have been about 10 0, to be honest, and we got a 1 1 draw. Um, whereas today, you know, it's it's that other sickening side of it, but that, I suppose that's the magic of, of the FA Cup. You know, we have tasted it and um, we'll have to put it to one side now for another 12 months before we can try and try and do it again. Was it, there was a big change after the the substitutions? Was that just a matter of personnel for you, or was it there was a whole just a, a revitalisation in the team generally? Yeah, that, I think that's it, James. And I needed to to try and affect it um, because it, it was it was continuing in the same vein um, as the first half for me. Um, for some reason, there, was, there seemed to be a lack of energy and. Um, with that came sloppy decision making and things, um, but you know, I suppose it's it's my job um, to to well, it is my job to um, try and get the, the, the t tactical substitutions right. And to be fair, I think I did that today. I think um, you know all of the, the three players that I put on um, affected the game in a, in a positive way, and um, it's just one of them things where you know the. Even the shot that's gone in, it's, it's probably a little bit of a scuff shot that's that's fl not flew in the top corner, kind of just drifted into the top corner. So, you know, it, it was Lancaster's day. We've got to we've got to make sure that um, we get more consistency within our performances. And like I said to him in there, I've got to know what I'm going to get every every week when I turn up to a certain level. Um, and at the moment, it's 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 too many. There's too many questions going around in my head as, as to why um, they can't do that at the moment. Well, it, the surprising thing is that the team did seem listless and rudderless in the first 55 minutes of the game. I mean, why would why would that be? I haven't got a clue. I have not got a clue. I suppose we'll get we'll get the um, the answers from from the players how they felt. Well, we've just been speaking about it in there because training on Thursday was fantastic. Um, had a great finishing session on, on Thursday. Come into the warm up today. The warm up panel it was fantastic. Well, it was fantastic. Um, and then they go out and, and perform like that. So, so, you know, is it a mindset issue as, as to, you know, we're turning up, we're playing against a team from a lower division and um, just turning up and expecting that we, we're going to go off with a victory? Um, that's not acceptable in any, any way, shape, or form in, at any level of football. Do you think that if you had. The, the pointless question of how if you had, could do it again, you would have started with Norton and Walwyn. Um, no, but I, you know the the team was that I selected to start was a team that that, that did well and and in a three-one victory only last week. So um, you know that that wouldn't have become a factor. Everybody's trained well, um, Matty Walwyn especially. You know, and he, he got a, a little chance to show what he's what he's got when he's played down the middle today. And you know, fact, credit to Matty, he's he, he, he's done well in that respect. So um, you know, the the next one will be next next Saturday, and um, my team selection will be based on what how the players perform now. Um, within training and then um, you know they'll be able to 
Well, they won't be able to question any of my decisions because, you know, a, a, a defeat like that, um, I've got I'm holding all the aces. One win was a, a sort of mini revelation. I mean, he didn't find the back of the net, but he created four chances. Do you do you see him as someone as if he gets a run and settles down, he could actually be a sort of 25 goals a season player? Um, hopefully, hopefully. You know, he's still young, Matty. He's um, he's one of them who, whether he comes on from the bench or starts, he always gets himself a chance. Um, some of the games where he has started, he's, he's probably not performed to the levels as, as when he's come on, you know, and that's something that we need to have a um, address with, with him, really, um, as to what his um, his approach to the game is. And um, some players are like that. Some players are, uh, you know, as substitutes come on and affect a game and when they get a start, sometimes it doesn't really work out for them. But there's no reason why starting a game or coming on a substitute is any different other than the fact that um, if you're a substitute and you're going on, um, you've got a point to prove to, to myself. Um, I don't want points to prove. I want them to go out and you know select 11 players and I only need to change it, not, not for the sake of a result, I only need to change it to um, maybe give, give people time on the pitch or give people rest and things like that. FC United notoriously played better in the second half of the season. I've asked you this question before. Um, is there, to you, are there fitness issues with players? No, no. Um, you know, we've done a, a, a full pre season. Um, so it, it's certainly not anything on a, on a fitness front. You know, they work hard in training, we, we work around in training. Um, I, I just think it's a mindset that we need to to address and um, the players have got to be aware of, of the responsibility of playing for this football club. And concentrate on the league now? Um, concentrate on the next game. Uh, you know, we've got, you know, the, there's the FA Trophy as well and the, the Manchester Premier Cup, so plenty of opportunities for, for players to either cement themselves a place in the, in the team or play themselves out of it and that's down to them and the players generally after a defeat like that is there a, is there a sense of anger with themselves or with each other or what, what was the atmosphere generally like um, one of a little bit of kind of disbelief in, in at, at losing today um, they should be angry they should be um, but they should also be um, thoughtful as to what they can do to put it right you know, I don't live with them all, so I can't make sure that they're they're preparing. All we can do is, you know, it's semi-pro football at the end of the day, and all we can do is is see them on a Tuesday and on a Thursday, and and, and put on the best sessions that that we can to to make sure that they're up to speed. Um, like I say, that that's been fine this week, and in the second half, um, you know, we, we we should have taken the game away from from Lancaster to be honest, um, and then. Nobody's feeling down. You know, one of them chances goes in, and you know, people are um, saying it's you know we've not played our best, but we've we've uh, we've secured a result. And it's one of them old sayings, isn't it? The team who isn't playing well but still winning um, is normally successful. And the cup is unforgiving. If you if you one one moment one little break, and you can miss eight chances, and yeah. there's no way back next week. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly, you know, and um, we tasted it at, um, at Rochdale, obviously, with Norts knocking that one in from, in the last minute, you know, and I'm pretty sure that on that day, uh, Keith Hill was, was feeling, um, probably like I'm for it feeling now. Well, Carl, thanks. Uh, have a good restful week. A bit, some decisions to make in training, and we'll see you next Saturday. Cheers, James. Thanks. Cheers, James. Thanks for coming out, Carl. No